Hello. I wanted to make a few kind of welcoming remarks for the axiomatic Z-theory course and also to get over some administrative details here in perhaps a short segment before the first lecture. So unfortunately uh, in this lecture course there will not be any face-to-face -face sessions at all. Everything will be done, on, done online and recorded for you. What we're going to do is have the usual format of three lectures uh, per week in weeks 1 to 10. One of these lectures will be pre-recorded, as will the first one be on Mondays. I suggest you look at it on Mondays. There will then be two online live lectures. So the second one will take place Wednesdays at 10, and the third one will be at Thursdays at 2 o'clock. All of the recorded sessions will be uploaded and will be available on my YouTube channel, and the link that I've already sent you. And also these will be linked to through Blackboard as well. So the Wednesday and Thursday lectures will be online live. <coughs> I'm hoping, uh, given the kind of constraints that we have, and I feel there's an onus on the lecturer, but also the students, I think, as well, to try and make this more interactive a kind of sessions than one get, perhaps has in a normal lecture series. So there'll be a chat box at the side of the online online sessions where you can uh, anonymize if you like ask questions either of each other or me and hopefully we can develop some kind of um, back and forth there will be problems classes uh, there will be one a week these will be fridays at three o'clock and again on live and recorded and i'm hoping very much that you will come armed with questions or with difficulties that you might have and ask for me to go through. So this will be in weeks 1 to 10. The first problems class will be very much aimed at perhaps logical or set theoretical prerequisites that one or two people in the class perhaps will not have had if they've come from outside of Bristol. So I want to emphasize those topics during that first problems class, but of course you're all welcome to come along as some kind of revision. And Homework will be uh, again set in the kind of usual fashion. Um, what I've usually done in the past is I haven't always set homework every week. I think by this stage everybody is, you know, we're grown ups and the homework I regard as kind of voluntary. Uh, and, but again, I do emphasize that I think that you should do it. Uh, so in the week when the homework is set, I'll set this on a Monday, then if you could then have that ready for the following Monday for uploading to the access point on Blackboard. So the deadline there will be 12 o'clock the following Monday, so that will be strict, I'm afraid. And then I will look at that homework and mark it and try and get back to you by the Monday following that. So to recap then, I will be setting some kind of revision exercises from the beginning of the course on the first Monday of week one. Then you can um, um, take snapshots and upload uh, the following Monday at 12 o'clock in week two and then by week three you should get some results back from that. So this is how it will cycle around, it's kind of a two week cycle period going through the whole thing here. Uh, Essentially, that's all of the administration that uh, uh, I have to get through. Of course, I should mention that the exam at the end will be an open book exam rather than in the past a closed book exam. So there'll be more to talk about for that later. The homeworks do not count towards your final assessment. They're just formative to give you practice in handling the concepts. But I do urge you to try hard, um, try your best on, on those homeworks. So, uh, well, I hope all goes well without too many glitches and I just uh, wish you luck with the course. And if you've got any questions, of course, bring them to me during the um, online sessions. Okay, goodbye for now.